Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about why it's so important to clean your own ears. Coming up. When is the last time that you took a shower? I'm hoping within the past few days. Or how about the last time that you brushed your teeth? I'm hoping that you at least brush your teeth once already today. Well, what about the last time that you cleaned your ears? No, I'm not talking about using a bobby pin or a cotton swab to dig around inside of your ear canals. I'm talking about actually cleaning your ears with a cleaning solution that is intended to break down earwax and then using warm water to flush it out. I'm guessing that most of you watching this video have never actually had your ears cleaned unless you've been into an audiologist who's done it for you. So why is it that we prefer perform hygiene regularly when it comes to our skin, our hair, and our teeth, but we never think about cleaning out our ear canals that produce earwax. I'm guessing it's because you can't see inside of your own ear canals, and if you can't see it, you don't know if you have it unless it stinks. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes your earwax has a bad smell to it. However, just because you can't see it doesn't mean that you shouldn't include ear cleaning in your regular hygiene schedule. Whether you think you need it or not, cleaning out your ears on a regular basis is probably a good idea for several reasons, which I will cover as soon as you click that like button, which really helps out my channel, and hit that subscribe button with notification bell so you get a notification every single time I publish a new video. That being said, I really appreciate it, and a huge shout out to EOSERA for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. The first reason why you should should be cleaning out your ears regularly is because a lot of people have problems with excessive earwax. According to the clinical practice guidelines for otolaryngology head and neck surgery, approximately 12 million people in the United States seek medical care annually for excessive earwax buildup which results in nearly 8 million cerumen removal procedures. This excessive or impacted cerumen negatively impacts around 1 in 10 children, 1 in 20 adults, and 1 out of every 3 elderly individuals. The way I see it is that not cleaning your ears is very similar to not brushing your teeth regularly. You can get away with it for a while, but if you let it go too long, it could lead to more expensive and inconvenient treatments by a professional to solve the problem for you. The second reason why you should regularly clean your ears is because it is often cheaper for you to do it yourself than having to pay a professional like me to do it for you. Of course, if you feel that you're at the point where you need a medical professional to do it for you, please do so. Personally, I am a bigger fan of preventative medicine than reactive medicine, and even though I don't really consider cleaning out ear canals to be medicine, regular self-cleaning can help prevent you from needing to see a professional to perform earwax removal for you, and it will most likely save you money by preventing stubborn earwax impactions that could cost hundreds of dollars to have professionally removed. The third reason why you should be cleaning out your own ears regularly is that excessive earwax buildup over time could lead to temporary hearing loss and tinnitus. If you happen to develop a plug of earwax inside of one of your ears, it is roughly equivalent to wearing an earplug in your ear that will reduce your hearing by 30 decibels temporarily, of course, until you have that ear wax removed. Not only does this make communication difficult, but it also leads to tinnitus, which is a phantom ringing or buzzing sound inside of your ear, which can be extremely annoying. Just so you know, tinnitus is frequently caused by a reduction of auditory information being able to make it from your ears up to your brain, and then your brain creates this phantom sound to replace it. And what's a great way to temporarily reduce the amount of auditory information that can make it from your ears up to your brain? Just let a bunch of earwax build up inside of your ears. So hopefully at this point I've convinced you that it's a good idea to clean out your own ears. But how should you be cleaning out your ears? Well, you have a few options. You could use hydrogen peroxide, but many doctors are starting to steer away from hydrogen peroxide use because too much of it could cause the irritation of the skin inside your ears. Not to mention hydrogen and carbamide peroxide are not really that effective at breaking down earwax. You could just jump in the shower and let some shower water get inside of your ear canals, but you got to be really careful with the pressure of the shower water, and if you end up feeling discomfort inside of your ear, you need to stop immediately. Instead, I recommend using an ear cleaning system like the Wax Blaster MD and Earwax MD from EOSERA, today's video sponsor. Now, there are a lot of other ear cleaning systems at your local pharmacy and online, but EOSERA products are the only products that I trust inside of my clinic that I know will work every single time 
time that I use them. How do I know this? Because I've tested virtually every single type of eardrop and at-home irrigation system, and in my opinion, they are not all created equal. Most at-home ear cleaning kits come with a 6.5% carbamide peroxide solution, which is required to try to break down the earwax before you flush it out of your ears. And remember what I said before about carbamide peroxide not being that effective at breaking down earwax? Check it out for yourself. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of a leading 6.5% carbamide peroxide solution on the left and Eosera's Earwax MD solution on the right. As you can see, the earwax inside of the Earwax MD solution starts to break down within a matter of minutes, while the earwax inside of the carbamide peroxide solution does not appear to break down at all. Not only is Earwax MD by far the most effective solution that I've ever tested and the only eardrop solution that I use inside of my clinic on my patients, but Eosera now includes a free bottle of Earwax MD when you purchase the Wax Blaster MD. All you need to do is take out the earwax MD drops, put them inside of your ears, and then flush out your ears with the Wax Blaster MD using warm water. Do this one time per week or as needed to prevent earwax buildup inside of your ears and to keep your ears squeaky clean. Like my dad said, good hygiene is always a good idea. Just like you should be bathing regularly and brushing your teeth regularly, you should be cleaning out your ears regularly. There is absolutely no reason why 8 million Americans should have to have professional earwax removal due to uncontrolled earwax buildup. All it should take is a few minutes per week using the right ear cleaning system to keep your ears clean and to prevent stubborn earwax buildup.